Good morning guys, uh, Dan Zura here. Look, I just wanted to, well, first of all share this beautiful sunrise with you. And uh, secondly, I just wanted to reflect on my time that I had with Tony Robbins and the Date with Destiny last week. And the key story or the key message that I took out of it, and the most important one, was that the biggest decision in your life is to decide to be truly happy no matter what. Now, there's two states you can actually live in every single day. The first state is one of beautiful state, which is love, gratefulness, gratitude, uh, just positivity, optimistic, uh, or there's that second state of, of a suffering state, or what uh, us achievers like to call, I guess, we label as stress, or pissed off, or annoyed, or overwhelmed, or depressed, and Every single day we have these range of emotions that are going to come up in our minds all of the time. And it's our job, our job, to make ourselves happy. It's no one else's. And it's our job to go through and shift ourselves out of those suffering states and put us into those, you know, positive, beautiful states at any time. And I really appreciate that a lot of us are, you know, got shit going on in our lives. You know, things happen. Uh, we are going to sadly lose loved ones or have loved ones that are sick. We're going to have, you know, family members that aren't going to be well. But we're also going to have, you know, lose a job or, you know, struggle with kids or, you know, have all sorts of problems. So understand that shit happens. <laughs> You're not unique. We're all got shit going on in different ways. So, the interesting thing is, is that your brain is not actually trained to make you happy. Your brain has been developing over the last you know, two million years, whatever, and it's been in survival mode. It deliberately goes through and quickly identifies the shit to make sure you don't step in it. It goes and recognizes dangers and goes and makes you aware of them so you can avoid them or deal with them in whichever way you're going to do. So understand that your brain is not trained to make you happy. It is your job, your job and no one else's to make you happy. And how do you make yourself happy? Is by going through and living in those beautiful states no matter what. And I believe that's leading with your heart and going through and doing whatever possible to go through and get out of those suffering states whenever you can. So here's a couple of quick tips for going through and getting out of that suffering state and into a happy, more beautiful state. First of all, is to acknowledge the suffering in the first place. So acknowledge, okay, I'm feeling a little bit stressed. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. And then understand why is it that I'm actually feeling that way? And go through and acknowledge it and change the story. Realize that life is actually happening for you. It's not happening to you. You can go through and change that story and be the change you wanna be. Second thing is to stop expecting and start appreciating. Appreciate the smallest little thing in that moment. Appreciate, well, right now I can appreciate this beautiful sunrise, but appreciate wherever you are. If you're sitting in front of a computer, appreciate that you've got a computer in front of you. Like, just appreciate the smallest thing. And then the third thing is tap into love and gratitude. In state of love and gratitude, things like anger and hurt and frustration can't actually happen at the same time. So quickly think of three things that you are truly grateful for in life. Think of those three things. Tap in might be an old memory. Tap into whatever it is and really be really grateful for that, having that in your life. And tap into that part of your brain. Now living in this beautiful state, you're actually gonna be able to make better decisions. You'll be a better employee, you'll be better at work, you'll be 
have better relationships with the people around you. You'll make better decisions for your family. You'll love and appreciate being around those people around you and you'll go through and make better decisions. So, just to summarize, it's your job to make yourself happy. Life is way too short to stay in that suffering state. There is a way out. You can actually go through and make yourself happy. It is about training your brain. And I believe training your brain leads with your heart. You have a fantastic day. Love you all. You stay awesome.